Hey, today I'm going to continue my little series about the about the effects inside on one for draw 2021. Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for post-processing software and photography related stuff. Yes, today we are indeed continuing our series about the effects inside of On One Photo Raw 2021. Uh, this is not going to be about anything more than this effect today. And the effect today is the color enhancer. So the color enhancer is a very powerful effect. It's one of the most powerful effects inside On One Photo Raw 2021, if you ask me. You can do so much with this. And the first thing we are going to do is to create a separation between the white balances in this image. As you can see, this image is really cold and I've actually warmed it up just a bit but it's still really cold so there's a blue tone and blue cast inside this entire image but if you look in the center here you can see that we do have some sunlight here it's not much or maybe not sunlight but there is well it's sunlight of course it's sunlight but the sun isn't up entirely but it's actually sunlight but not a sun cast maybe but maybe we want to enhance this uh, brighter area and of course we can do that with the color enhancer so maybe i want to warm this area up and i can do so very easily with the color enhancer so simply going up on the temp will allow me to do that so if i go up to around here it's going to be a bit much but we can tweak that later i can then go in and invert this filter so i'm clicking on the mask options and simply clicking on the invert button and now we are going to drop a radial uh, inside here so i'm going up to the mask bug and under preset i'm making sure there's nothing there and on the shape I'm making sure it's set at center. I'm dropping that in and I'm going to tweak the size a bit there. And if you have watched me earlier, you know that I like to have a big feather when I'm using radials. All right, so now this is uh, entirely the wrong way. So I need to invert this radial. Now we have all of the effect going through from the inside circle here where you have the points and or actually from here and it's feathering out to the outer circle around there. So I want to tweak this radial a bit there. So I'm going up on the sides there, but I'm going down on the height or what you want to call it. And I'm dragging out this feathered line. And we have now two white balances inside one picture. So we have a warm kind of white balance here, and we have a colder white balance everywhere else outside the feathered line. So let's see without. And you can see there is a bit of a difference there. And this is with. And of course, I think it's a bit too much. So I'm going down there uh, a bit on the temp. But if I want to make it warmer without <laughs> warming it up with the white balance, I can, of course, increase the vibrance as well. So I can pull that up pretty high before it's starting to look unrealistic. And if we take a look at the before, and this is the after. So there is quite a bit of difference there. Maybe I want to make it more obvious for you because it might not be too easy for you to see the difference. But it's there. I think I might want to go up just a bit on the inner circle there. So let's see now. Yeah, to me that difference is huge. All right, so that's one color enhancer. So now we have done something with this part of the image. Let's say I want to make the sky a bit darker. 
I can of course do so with another color enhancer. So I simply add that color enhancer in here. And uh, yeah, I can simply do it with the saturation, obviously. And now <laughs> I'm bringing out some more blues into the entire image, but I don't think I want to do that. So I think I want to do it to the sky instead. So I'm simply going up to the mask bug into the presets, I'm going to select a linear button and the shape will then be gradient and I'm simply dropping the gradient over here and pulling that up a bit and maybe out a bit as well so we have a nice feather and check the without and this is the width. So now suddenly we have a more bluish uh, sky and I can even go in and tweak uh, the luminance on that sky if I want to do that. So I don't need to do this with a tone enhancer or a local adjustment. I'm simply going into the blue color under color range and I'm going to decrease the brightness. And as you can see that pulls down the blue. Yeah, obviously it's, <laughs> it's a bit too much. But it can be done. And of course, also for the aqua. So I'm bringing up the range there and I'm pushing the aqua over to the blue and I'm pulling down the brightness as well. And obviously, this is too much now. But I can pull down the saturation here if I want to do that. Maybe I want to pull up the vibrance instead. So there's a lot of ways to go with a color enhancer and you can even use the color enhancer for sort of a dodge and burn so if you want to let's say you have uh, shot an image inside uh, a room where there's different kind of lighting so you have a tungsten light or let's say you have a cold light and then you have a sort of a what's that called in english again uh, you know the light tubes and those emit kind of a green cast and then you have some warm light bulbs then you suddenly have a lot of different uh, white balances inside that room and that can can be quite tricky to solve but with either one color enhancer or quite a few of color enhancer you can solve it and it's pretty easily to do so actually so the color enhancer is really powerful it's even powerful for portraits as skin when you're trying to color grade skin it's also really powerful so you should absolutely try out the color enhancer in different compositions and try different settings and play around with it and remember that uh, all of a draw is totally non-destructive so you can't really go wrong if you don't like it you simply either disable the effect or click it away yeah so that's it for this uh, video about the effects in on one photo 2021 i'm not sure what the next uh, effect will be if you like this video hit that like button if you want to watch more from me hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you again goodbye <laughs>